Hi guys, 14 week pregnancy update. Um, it's Ronnie here and I just got back from the gym. Do I look like I just got back from the gym? Uh, no makeup, sweaty. I'm still sweat, sure is wet. Um, but I decided to take a step class today. I just didn't feel like running. Um, I did run on Saturday, which I'll tell you about in a minute, but I just, um, you know, I have this kind of uh, like anxious feeling. I don't know if this makes sense. Like I'm out of breath, but not really. And I don't know if this is normal pregnancy. I think it is, like a preg like a pregnancy out of breath thing. Um, and the thought of running today, I was just kind of like, I just, I can, I, I saw myself giving up on a run early because of it. So um, thanks to some pressure from my Twitter friends, uh, I decided to. I looked at the schedule at my gym, and there was a step class this morning, and I thought, I haven't taken step in two years. Um, this would be really fun and it was a basic class. So I did that and it was super fun and I was reminded how much I like step. Um, if you are pregnant or not, I, just someone who's looking at doing some more active things like going to, to classes or the gym or running or whatever, I really really recommend a basic step class. It's really super fun and there's something, at least for me, I know some people don't like it, but for me, um, I fo I'm focusing so much on getting like the moves right that an hour goes by like that. It's like, whoa, I was, because I'm so like tranced by looking at the feet of the instructor, because if I don't stare at the instructor's feet, I'm like falling all over the place. It's hysterically funny. Um, so anyway, just the thought, if you, I'm thinking about actually doing a blog to lose challenge uh, this week, which is a try a new workout class, because I think um, it, it just reminded me how much fun sometimes, and it's like 50 minutes goes by so quick, and believe me, I was sweaty and out of breath. I think I might have burned more calories in that step class than I did running. I don't know. It was it was pretty tough. It was fun, but tough. Um, so let's see. I actually have notes, <laughs> things I want to bring up for my pregnancy update. First of all, heartburn has been insane. I think now heartburn is replacing the nauseousness. I just, I wake up with it. I didn't even eat. I was like, I didn't even eat yet. How could I have heartburn? Um, I hate that feeling too. It's horrible. So I've been downing the Tums. Uh, it's not really making a difference, but um, I can't complain. I mean, that's the worst thing right so far, which isn't too, too, too bad. Uh, I did want to tell you that I ran a 5k on, um, and I, I posted this on yesterday's post, but I ran a 5k on Saturday and I was super excited that I came in under 30 minutes. I cannot believe it. I haven't run that fast since becoming pregnant. Um, I think my average time for 5k's is usually right around 30, I think between 28 and 30 minutes. Um, but it took me, you know, almost three years to get to that speed. <laughs> so I was pretty impressed with my time of 20, the official time was 29.52, and when I was running to the finish line, and I saw the clock, and the, and I, I just remember seeing 29.45, and I got this big smile on my face, like, I'm coming in on 30, Woo! I was so excited, um, so that was really, really fun, and I did get a question on Twitter, a few people asked, um, what's it feel like to run pregnant, and I, it's funny, because I, um, I haven't really thought about it before, but I think I'm so, so I, I just entered the second trimester, so I'm still super early in the pregnancy. So I'm not getting, I'm not experiencing like any weirdness of running because I have a large belly. Um, really, the only difference that I've noticed is um, really more to do with my breathing. I feel like I have a harder time kind of finding my breathing rhythm, which is slowing me down. But other than that, I don't think there is a real difference between running pregnant and running not. Now, I think that's going to change once, you know, I have a five-pound baby <laughs> in my abdomen or where <laughs> my uterus. Um, I'm sure I'll feel really differently. So, but right now, really, there is no, it's not like I can, I feel different while I'm running. It's more of a, um, kind of like a cardio capacity thing, you know. So, according to Baby Center, um, can you help tell I'm having note to note? According to Baby Center, the baby is the size of a lemon this week, which is super exciting. And I'm going, to, I haven't scheduled yet, but I am scheduling my um, ultrasound to find out the sex. And I will be finding out the sex because I have zippy patients. I need to know if it's a boy or a girl just for my own mental sanity. Um, I'm, I'm always impressed by people who don't find out and are like surprised the day and thinking, 
God, I can't do that. I really, really need to know. I don't know. It helps me bond with the baby. I know it's like I could start buying cute little outfits. Like my husband and I, when we were pregnant with Ryan, we, um, when we found out the sex, which I think is like week 18 or week 16 or something like that, we, um, as soon as we found out afterwards, we went out to lunch and then we went to Old Navy and we got like a cute little baby boy outfit because we knew it was a boy. We got two outfits and I've saved them. I should go get them. Next week pregnancy, I will show you those two little outfits that we got. So I want to find out. I like that tradition. So once we find out if it's a girl or a boy, then we'll go get a cute little outfit and we'll show you guys. Um... Other than that, I will show you the uh, pregnancy belly, which I'm feeling really thick. <laughs> um, it is kind of playing with my head a little bit, I have to say. You know, I keep reminding myself, this is pregnancy, this is what happens. But, you know, people with body image history and issues, and, um, you know, it, it bugs you a little bit. I mean, I'm not, not going to lie, but I'm excited to be pregnant, and I'm excited to see the changes that my body's going to go through. So let me show you the belly. Ready? I'm wearing these... I worked out, so I'm wearing workout clothes. I have to like not suck it in, right? So you can see it's getting there. Like you can see my scar if I go a little lower um, from my tummy tuck. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens. Um, what happens, you know, post tummy tuck? And I know a lot of people read my blogs, um, and that's kind of how they found me through tummy tuck experience. So um, we'll see. It's like it's an unknown at this point. So. I think I covered everything. Uh, I'm going to go eat lunch. I don't know if you heard before, but my stomach was growling. I only ate breakfast so far and an apple with some peanut butter. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to focus on eating things, like snacky things like apples and peanut butter, not combos. <laughs> I'm trying to eat more nuts and um, even more cheese and just kind of whole foods and um, things like that. And just I made a huge batch of chili. Uh, which is not the best thing for heartburn. But I made a huge batch of chili on Saturday, and I'll probably go have a big bowl of that. So um, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will be back next week for my week 15 pregnancy update. Bye. Thanks for watching.